you just have a good time. <clears throat> Just five days ago, Saturday morning, I faced evil and the worst darkness of all time, right in our own house of worship, right at Chabad Poway. I faced him and I had to make a decision. Do I run and hide or do I stand tall and fight and protect all those that are there? We cannot control what others do, but we can control how we react. My dear Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendoz Nersen, taught me the way we react to darkness is with light. It was that moment that I made a decision. No matter what happens to me, I'm going to save as many people as possible. I should have been dead by now, uh, based on the rule of statistics. I was in the line of fire, bullets flying all the way. My fingers got blown off, but I did not stop. The Rebbe taught me, as a Jew, you are a soldier of God. You need to stand tall and stand fast and do whatever it takes to change the world. My life has changed forever but it changed so I could make change. And I could help others learn how to be strong, how to be mighty and tall. Many have asked me, Rabbi, where do we go from here? How do we prevent this? And I, my response is what my Rebbe told me when President Ronald Reagan was shot. The Rebbe said, we need to go back to the basics and introduce a moment of silence in all public schools so that so that children from early childhood on could recognize that there's more good to the world, that they are valuable, that there is accountability, and every human being is created in God's image. If something good could come out of this terrible, terrible, horrific event, let us bring back a moment of silence to our public school system. I also want to thank the United States of America. I'd like to thank our dear, honorable Mr. President for being, as they say in Yiddish, a mensch par excellence. <laughs> Mr. President, when you called me, I was at home weeping. You were the first person who began my healing. You heal people in their worst of times, and I'm so grateful for that. You have helped me bring great honor to Mrs. Lori Kay of blessed memory, a 60-year-old dear friend of our congregation. I've known her for 25 years, a staunch volunteer. She works for the Friendship Circle, an organization that helps children with special needs. This year, on June 2nd, we're doing a march in her memory right. to show that nothing is going to stop us. We're gonna march with victory, and you helped us bring Lori Kay great honor. And God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you, Thank you such beautiful words a great man